Hello, hello, welcome back to the Craft Scraps. I am Lauren and today we are gonna make these super cute and easy little tote bags for a bachelorette party that say let's flamingo with the names. And these are so simple. All you have to do is make a text box. So I will come over here and make a text box. And the font I'm using is Flower for Rosaline or Rosaline. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's from Font Bundles and it's completely free and you can use it commercially if you'd like. They do come with a license. So I'm just going to write, let's flamingo. Oops, spelled it wrong. And then in a separate text box, I'm just going to write the name. And then the flamingo is from my uploaded images. I got this image from Auntie Tay. And if you're a member, she has tons of free SVGs that you are able to use. So I'm just gonna click on it here and click add to canvas. And so what I'm going to do is you could see that the apostrophe here is like in the T, but over here in my original it isn't so I want to select the entire box and I'm going to click ungroup and I'm just going to move it over a little bit and so basically what ungrouping does is you can see down here this is not ungrouped and it's all one piece of text but if you ungroup it you can move each letter individually however you want so additionally, I want to select the let's and move it up a little bit. You can also do this by adjusting the line space, but just while I have it ungrouped, it's easier to do it this way. All right, and so now that that looks good, we can highlight everything and click weld. And so the reason I'm not highlighting the Lauren or the name is because I'm gonna have it in a different color. So now, all I have to do is size the flamingo. Oh, actually I should size the text first. So I'm gonna come over here and hit this unlock button and drag it out. And so basically by unlocking it, you can really drag it however you want. It won't keep the proportions. Or you can keep it locked like I will with this flamingo. And now I will size this down and it'll keep the proportions. So this is good to go. Now lastly, I want this name to be the same color as the flamingo. So I'm gonna come over here to the color palette and you can see that this pink is already in our material colors because this is already like in our project. So I'll just click that and you can see that the color changes down here and that is basically it so we can come over here to make it and we are going to be cutting this on a mat and now before we go to make it we have to make sure we mirror all of our mats because we are cutting this out on heat transfer vinyl or HTV or iron on whatever you want to call it so we have to make sure we mirror it to make sure it cuts out backwards and then when we, we apply it, it'll be the right side. And you'll see what I mean once we get to making it. So I'm gonna mirror all of my mats. All right, so now we can click continue and it's gonna find our machine and we can select our cut setting. So for the cut setting for this, I'm just gonna use everyday iron on. And so now I'll switch you over to the camera so you can see how we're going to make it. All right, so this is the tote bag I'm going to be using. It is from Amazon. I'll link it below. There's no tag inside. It's a, just a normal canvas tote bag, and I think it's a good size. It can fit, you know, a bunch of good stuff in it. It's about 15 by 15, so super happy with this. The first part we're going to cut out is the Let's Flamingo, so the text, and for that I'm going to be using this black, and so we want to make sure that we have the shiny side face down on the mat. So I'm just going to measure this out. So I need about nine by nine. 
All right, so now that I have that trimmed, I'm gonna put it on my mat. Again, shiny side face down. All right, so we can insert our mat, and I just did that by, just by pressing this little arrow button when it was blinking, and now our Cricut light is blinking, so we can cut. And again, I'm cutting this on the everyday iron-on setting. And while this is cutting, I'm gonna come over here and get my heat press ready. So I'm just gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna do this at about 350 degrees for about 15 seconds. All right, so I'm just gonna let that heat up. We can unload our black and take that off of our mat. And then so for the pink, I'm gonna be using this kind of like rose, it's kind of a rose goldy. I didn't want like a super bright pink, so again, we're gonna put the matte side down on the mat and I will also trim this as well. And actually, I'm just gonna put this on my mat and then I'll trim it once the flamingo is actually cut out because I'm using this for the flamingo and for the name at the bottom. Again, putting this matte side face up and the shiny side face down. Insert our mat by clicking the arrow while it's blinking, and then when the cricket light starts blinking, we will cut. And again, making sure that mirror is turned on for all of your HTV that you're cutting. Unless you're using a specific HTV that says not to mirror, but if you're using like any basic HTV, you should be mirroring. All right, so we can unload our pink and take it off the mat. All right, and so now we are gonna weed all of our designs. So basically all that means is we're gonna get rid of all of the excess HTV. So I'm going to start by flipping it over. So we're gonna weed away the matte side. So there's like this shiny side. So we're gonna weed away the matte side. And I like to just pick up a corner and just kind of away And so I thought this design would be fun for like a Palm Springs getaway, bachelorette party, you know, something super fun and like Palm Springsy or tropical. Okay. So now that we have the bulk of it weeded, now we just go back in and get out all of the middles of the letters, just making sure we don't accidentally get it stuck anywhere. All right, so we have the bulk of our design weeded, so we have our text. All right, and so now let's do our flamingo. So again, I'm just picking up a corner and weeding it away. Oh my God, without a beak, this literally looks like a dinosaur. I took the beak, I took the beak off of the, I took the beak off the gold so this wouldn't look so insane. So I'm just sticking this the transfer sheet. All right, now it looks like a flamingo. <laughs> and I'll weed out the eye. All right, so we have our cute little flamingo weeded. So same thing for the name, just picking up a corner and weeding away. 
All right, so we have the name. All right, so for our tote bag, I've just marked the center. And so to press it, I just have this heat pad under it. It's a Cricut like heat press pad. If you don't have one, no worries. I've done plenty of videos without it. You just wanna make sure you protect whatever surface you're pressing on. And also I wanna mention you can totally do this with an iron as well. It just might take a little bit longer. I'm gonna be using my gigantic Cricut Easy Press 2, but like I said, you can totally use an iron or whatever heat source you have as well. And I will be pressing this at 350 for 15 seconds. And so to start, I'm just going to heat up my surface just to get any wrinkles out, any moisture, all that good stuff. All right, and so now we're gonna place everything. Okay, so I finally arranged it how I wanted. So to protect it, I am just gonna put on some uh, parchment paper. You actually don't really have to if you're using a heat press, but I like to just to be safe. So we have our parchment paper, so now I'm just gonna grab my heat press and we can do this. All right, so I'm just going to place it over it and just give it some good pressure. Oh, I need to hit the button. So now we can start to peel off all of our carrier sheets. So I'm going to peel this one first and then peel off the Let's Flamingo. All right, so we took all of our carrier sheets off and how cute is that? This looks just like so chic and Palm Springsy. I just love it. All right, so I wanted to try and hold it up so you guys could see it a little bit better. And I'm just so happy with how this turned out. It's so freaking cute. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you do something similar, make sure you tag me so I can see all the fun stuff you guys do. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting.